Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me. I'm going to be cleaning my whole house, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. Alright, so for today's extreme clean with me, I am going to be cleaning my whole house. And when I say I'm going to be cleaning my whole house, that typically means my whole downstairs. All of our living areas and our master bedroom and bathroom are downstairs. My kids' bedrooms and bathrooms, they are upstairs and they typically clean those themselves. It's kind of been a nice thing for them to kind of take that over. Mom does go up there every now and then, but most of the time when I say I'm going to clean my whole house, it really just means the downstairs. Now you're probably going to notice that my house is pretty much picked up. There's not things laying out or left out. My house is pretty tidy right now, but it is dirty. And when I do like a really good clean of my house, like the dusting, vacuuming, mopping, all of those things, I really do like for my house to be picked up before I do that. But my house was dirty. It really needed to be dusted in a few areas. All of my floors really needed to be cleaned. And our main bathroom downstairs needed to be cleaned. Right here, I'm going to pause and I'm going to show you my new lamps. I got these lamps for my birthday. They are beautiful. They are exactly what I wanted here on the buffet. My um, best friend gave these to me. They're beautiful. This little picture is of Cade when he was super little and I really am just happy with how the buffet in here has turned out. It's nice and simple exactly the way I wanted it to look. A lot of times when I'm cleaning my house I like to do one task at a time like I like to do all of the dusting and then all of the vacuuming and so on but today is one of those days where I know that I'm probably not going to get everything done today so I'm going to go room by room. I am starting in my dining room because it kind of needs the least amount of things done and I know that I can get it finished. Also I know that if I'm not done before my husband gets home at least this room this room is where he will come in at least the floors will be dry by then so he won't have to worry about that so I've dusted in here just kind of the main areas and then I vacuumed and then I will move on to mopping For mopping today, I'm going to use the Ink Cloth Mop Pad and then I'm going to put it on my Reveal Mop. The reason I'm doing this is because I already had the Reveal Mop. There's not really anything wrong with it, but I definitely needed some new pads for it. So instead of purchasing new pads that went on it, I realized that the Reveal not the reveal. I realized that the e-cloth pads would fit on there. So I purchased that and it fits on here really well. I like that there's a little bit of overhang on it because when I go up against my baseboards it actually will turn and go up the baseboard which is really nice. At some point I will purchase the e-cloth like mop handle but I'm getting all the benefits of cleaning with just water and so far so good. I really do like it.
It is so funny to me how when I go from room to room, the light changes drastically in my house. And I know it's just because of the way the sun is situated, obviously, but um, the kitchen is always nice and bright. Once I go into the living room and that side of the house is always super dark, but that's just kind of how it goes. Thankfully, it doesn't take long to get the kitchen done. It's really a small area, but I do have to vacuum and mop this area several times a week. The Rubbermaid Reveal mop handle that I'm using, it does have a bottle on there so that you can fill it up with water if you want to use it to get the pad wet, but I really like to run it under water because it gets really wet. Um, the e-cloth mop handle, they have two different ones. They have one where there's not a water bottle and then they also have one that does have a water bottle that you can spray as you go. So you can really just kind of use whichever one you'd like. When I walked back into the kitchen, I noticed my planner laying on the counter, so I thought I would take this time to show it to you guys real quick. Once upon a time, I used to do a lot of planner videos. I don't do that anymore, but I have decided to start my Carrie Grace Plans Instagram back up. So if that is something that you are interested in, you might want to follow me over there. I have used all kinds of planners over the years. It is something that I really like, so let me know down below, do you like to use a planner? Is it something that you are consistent with? Let me know in the comments down below what kind of planner are you currently using. Alright, so now let's get back to cleaning. There are always so many crumbs under our table when I vacuum. It's so funny to me though because we have a dog, so in my mind he should be much better at cleaning up the crumbs, but he's really not good at it. The dog that we had before, Tucker, Tucker is a Maltese, but the dog we had before, we had a Yorkie named Ace. That dog did not let a crumb go to waste ever. He always cleaned up all of our crumbs. I know that's kind of gross, but anyway. All right, so in here I vacuumed, now I'm gonna mop, and then we'll get to move on to the next room. I have been trying to tweak a few things in this room. I hung up my plain white curtains in here. I have some other curtains picked out, but like I told you before, we're just kind of trying to do one thing at a time. And I had the plain white curtains and I do like them better than the Greek key ones that were in here before. I really liked those curtains, but now that we've switched out our couch and have a new couch, I don't like them as much in here. But anyway, we did finally get my picture hung up above the couch. And then I've kind of just been trying to tweak things on the coffee table and things like that. So that's the kind of stuff that I had to clean up right here. I'm just kind of cleaning up my desk area so that I can do a little bit of dusting. And then I will also vacuum and mop in this room. I can't remember if this trunk was out here for my last video, but I do like it better as a coffee table than the gray coffee table that we had out here. I do have a tray that's going to go on the coffee table. This particular day is the day that I think I was painting it. It was um, black and I was painting it gray. I'm still trying to figure out what color I want to paint my end tables. One of them is gray, one of them is, one of them is cream. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to paint them both white. But I'm also kind of toying around with painting them both kind of a medium gray. I'm also going to change the hardware to gold knobs. I've got lots of gold accents in here. I've got some picture frames. The bases of my lamps are like an antique gold. I am a fan of mixing metals. I've been wanting to change the knobs out. I'm actually thinking about spray painting them because I've been looking for knobs and I haven't really found anything that is exactly what I want, but I do like the knobs that I already have and I noticed that I have a can of gold spray paint. So I may just do that because then it's not gonna cost me 
any money. My kitchen floors are dry now, so I'm going to move my chairs back. Alright, so the main areas of my house are all nice and clean. I was able to dust the areas that needed to be dusted. I vacuumed and I cleaned the floors and I'm really glad that I did it this way because I did run it run out of time and I didn't get to work on my master bedroom and bathroom but that's okay because I am going to do it the next day. Here we are the next day so I'm going to start working in my master bedroom. I did want to show you guys these earrings. I got these for my birthday and they are so cute on. They're nice and big and super cute. I do have them listed down in my Amazon storefront if you want to check them out. But my mother-in-law, she got those for me and I have really enjoyed them. Alright, so now I'm going to work on my master bedroom. I'm just going to dust in here and then I am going to vacuum and mop and then I will move on to my master bathroom. Again, it was super nice that because everything is nice and tidy, all I had to do this morning is actually clean. I wasn't having to walk around and put things up and put them away. I try really hard to put things away as I go. It doesn't always happen that way, but um, I do try really, really hard to do that, especially when I know that I really do need to clean.
And now it's time to move on to my bathroom. I'm going to be cleaning the toilet and then also like the sink area. My shower did not need to be cleaned. I did it the other day when I was in there. So I'm just going to give the toilet a good scrub. This bathroom is another room that I really do want to make some updates in. I'm not going to do anything major. I know a lot of people will see this green tile and think it's horrible and they probably wish that I would redo it. But I actually really like this tile and I know not everybody's going to like it and that is totally okay. But it's in really good shape. Green is actually one of my favorite colors. I'm just kind of wanting to like repaint the walls. I want to change out the blinds. I want to paint the um, like the vents in here I painted them like a dark color and I don't like it I want to update the shower curtain and the artwork and things like that everything in here is just kind of a hodgepodge kind of a mess um, you can see right there on the door frame there used to be a door here I want to fix those just things like that just kind of make it look fresher and brighter so hopefully I'm going to be able to start doing little things like that like I said I'm not going to do anything major it's all going to be really small things that don't cost a lot of money and I'm still not going to do them all at one time it really will be just kind of a little bit here and there as I have a little bit extra money and a little bit of time to freshen things up Now I'm going to clean my mirrors and I am going to use my e-cloth. This is just the regular all-purpose cloth and then the polishing cloth. It does such a great job getting all of the streaks off of mirrors. It is wonderful. I know I say this pretty much every time I clean this bathroom, but I used to have a really hard time with streaks in this bathroom because the lights are kind of down really low. The ceiling is really low in this bathroom and the lights because they're really close to the mic um to the microwave okay not the microwave because they are really close to the mirror it kind of just would bake everything on there so when i used to spray windex on there and try to wipe it with a paper towel it would totally just bake it on there and there would be a streak i tried cleaning the mirrors without the lights on i tried all different kinds of things but the e-cloths they do such a good job getting rid of all of the streaks I am also going to be using the e-cloth, all-purpose cloth, or bathroom cloth, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using that to clean my counter. A lot of times I use it to also clean my sinks, but today I'm going to use the Method Anti-Back just because there was something really weird in my sink. I'm not even sure what it was, but I just decided that I wanted to do something different. First thing, obviously, you can see is that I am filling up my soap dispenser because it was almost out. The e-cloth really would have cleaned my sink just fine, I am sure, but sometimes I like to change it up. As I'm washing this back and I see a teal hand towel, I've got a black and white patterned rug in here. I don't know if you can see my shower curtain, but it's like a pale aqua color and white. Y'all, I've got some serious color clashes going on in here and nothing goes together. I definitely need to get on with this makeover at some point. I say makeover, just kind of a refresh. Anyway, I think I'm going to do green and gray and then maybe a little bit of navy so we'll see
All right, guys, it feels so good to go through the whole house and be able to get it extremely clean. It has been a while since I've gone through the whole house and kind of done everything. I was hoping to get it all done in one day, but I did get it done in one afternoon. And then the very next morning, I did the rest. So that totally works. Sometimes you just got to make it work. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please give this this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon